In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light Reflection on the Day's Readings. It's the 15th of November, Friday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. We remember today St. Albert the Great, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. And we Carmelites remember all the Carmelite departed today. And now we pay attention to the Gospel text of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 17, verses 26 to 37. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, let the one who is on the house top with his goods in the house not come down to take them away. And likewise, let the one who is in the field not turn back. Remember Lord's wife. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. I tell you, in that night, there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken and the other left. And they said to him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building. When Rome was sacked by Germanic tribes in 410, its citizens were stunned. They wondered how the eternal city unconquered for 800 years could have been overthrown. In response to those who blamed its collapse on the rise of Christianity, Saint Augustine wrote his famous treatise, The City of God. Augustine depicted two invisible cities that exist simultaneously on earth. The inhabitants of both cities go through life together and experience the same events alongside one other, like the fall of Rome. However, in the city of God, the Lord is present and the people worship Jesus as Lord. In the earthly city, the people are so preoccupied with the things of this world that they are unaware of and sometimes at odds with God's kingdom in their midst. We see a similar situation in today's gospel. The same people are eating, drinking, buying, selling. 
but Jesus distinguishes between Noah and his contemporaries. Lot and the residents of Sodom and two women grinding grain. In each pair, there is a resident of the city of God who has put their faith in the Lord. There is also someone who is so absorbed with the worries and pleasures of this world that they are unaware of God's kingdom coming upon them. Ultimately, the earthly city and its inhabitants will fade while God's city and his people will live forever. This doesn't mean that Jesus is against everyday activities like working, cooking meals and owning possessions. These things are usually good and necessary. But Jesus is warning us not to become too entangled and immersed in the timings of this earthly city. So today, let's try to keep our spiritual eyes and ears open to the kingdom of God in our midst. Let's hold on to our earthly possessions with an open, generous hand, not a clinched fist. These things are destined to fade, rust and decay, but we are destined to live forever. Let's keep clinging to Jesus, the source of life and the ruler of the city of God, our eternal hope. Lord, open my eyes to your kingdom coming upon me. Amen. Psalm 119 proclaims the importance of keeping God's commandments and laws. Doing God's will is the response of those who have a relationship with God. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response, Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his decrees. With all their hearts they seek him. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. I treasure your word in my heart, lest I sin against you. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Open my eyes, that I may see the wonders of your law. Blessed are those who walk in the law of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Brothers and sisters, pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Father Lawrence de Kunna, Sister Mary Frances, both are Carmelites, Apolline Raskina from Bajodi, Mangalore, Estrella Dias from Melbourne, Australia, David Raj from Trichy, Felix Seravo from Pilar Shirwa, Samuel Rickson de Souza from Kulshikar, presently in Barin. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. Francis and Priscilla from Kadri, Mangalore are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. Congratulations, dear friends. May God bless your family life. And we pray for the departed soul of Balthazar de Souza from Mudbelde. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.